first organized motor races on the Central Coast were held on the city streets of Lompoc and Santa Maria in 1911. With the wide availability of the Ford Model T and the growing aftermarket in high-performance engine accessories, the contests of speed and daring grew quickly as public entertainment. Exposition Park was San Luis Obispo's championship racetrack in 1922. With the hills of San Luis Obispo in the background, the one-mile track hosted some of the top drivers in the nation. George Allen Hancock was, by all accounts, a remarkably versatile fellow. While not an engineer in the train sense, his pursuits in energy, aviation, marine biology, agriculture, and transportation ensured his place in the development history of California's Central Coast. Known as the Quiet Adventurer, he was an oil man, a sailor, an oceanographer, musician, aviator, and railroader. California Polytechnic University in San Luis Obispo. It was an unlikely candidate for an aeronautics school in the mid-20s. As more vocational high schools competed for state funding, critics of the Polytechnic charged that the institution itself was no longer necessary. California's conservative governor, Friend Richardson, had cut the school's budget by half in 1922 and within two years was threatening to close Cal Poly completely. Two brothers from Halcyon can be credited with significantly improving and changing life in the 20th century. One idea gave England an edge in the Battle of Britain helping track incoming airplanes, providing advanced warning, reducing deaths, keeping Adolf Hitler's dreaded Luftwaffe at bay. The same device served the Allies in World War II and was adapted to make nighttime and fog-bound landings safe and practical. A post-war invention revolutionized medicine, increasing our odds in the fight against cancer. Other concepts have helped to make our current high-tech lifestyle possible, even palatable. Those brothers were Russell and Sigurd Varian. Northern San Luis Obispo County was the country's largest charcoal producer. The rolling hills of northern San Luis Obispo County were once thick with oak trees. As the pace and expansion of ranching, farming, and housing picked up, more trees were removed. By the 1920s, a half dozen charcoal operations were operating around Paso Robles. John Franklin Botts began making charcoal in the Willow Creek area in 1877, although no documentation of his methods have survived. The Busi brothers emigrated from Italy in 1910 and began producing charcoal at Shadow Canyon around 1913. Other Italian families were doing likewise. The Pizzeni brothers, Sylvester Ducey, Angelo and Amato Tonesi among them. All of them used the traditional method of a dirt-covered dome of wood. Now several Japanese families went into the charcoal business around the same time. Each ethnic group had its own manner for making charcoal, but the common requirement was to maintain the proper temperature for the correct amount of time. The process of destructive distillation demanded constant adjustment of the air intake and exhaust smoke to produce good charcoal. A fire that was too hot would result in low-grade coal or consume charcoal already formed. And patience was required. The average burn could last a month. Experienced charcoalers could judge the quality of a burn by the smell and the amount of smoke. 